Hello, Jazz Station family of volunteers, musicians, and music lovers. I'm Tori Newhart, local jazz pianist and current board president of the Willamette Jazz Society. First of all, I hope you're all doing well and that your families are staying safe. Um, I want to let you know that there are many people working hard behind the scenes to make sure that our venue continues and stays open beyond the current pandemic crisis that we are finding ourselves involved in. It feels a lot like a rhythm changes sometimes. You practice, and you practice, and you practice, and you have a path that goes through the whole tune, and then all of a sudden the bass player is playing the bridge when they're not supposed to. You improvise, right? That's what we're all doing. So this is our YouTube channel. Welcome to it. It's created for us as a way to be in touch with you going forward. They say that when doors close, others open. The Jazz Station is a very special place and we're fortunate to have a network of musicians all over the world that really care about what we do and they love the venue and they love the people. So you as a part of this community are in luck because those musicians are sending in videos to us made at home specifically to be shared with you through this channel. You're also going to get to see the faces of some people who have been working behind the scenes and have made this place what it is today. They're going to introduce the musicians in all these videos. Now I'm positive you did not tune in to hear me talk and many of you probably think I could have said this a lot better at that piano next time. Uh, for now, I get the pleasure of introducing our first guest. Our first guest is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, an incredible saxophonist and I'm grateful to call him a personal friend. Over the last seven years that we have played together, we recorded on at least six different albums, toured Europe with the Oregon Jazz Ensemble, and his family even let my family camp on his family's land to watch the eclipse together. That was a trip. Please enjoy our debut video, A Personal Story, from our friend Joshua Hetwer. <laughs> Would you like to hear a story about the jazz station? Let's start from the beginning. Wait! <laughs> Not that far back. Ah, that's more like it. April 12th, 2013. My first professional performance at the jazz station. I was 18 at the time. Tony Glousey led the charge in what would be the first of dozens of gigs we would play there together. A little over a year later, on August 2nd, 2014, the jazz station would host my first gig as a band leader, featuring my brother on trombone. It's impossible to count the amount of times I've gone up on that stage. Professionally, it's something like 65 performances since April 2013. By the way, this music we're listening to... Yeah, Jazz Station. But the Jazz Station is so much more to me than just a place to play. I've attended meetings and gatherings, volunteered, watched some of my favorite musicians perform, gone to jams and hangs, and the University of Oregon Jazz Department even started using it as a performance space alternative. It was nice to get off campus. Let's not forget it's also an art gallery. I'm sure if I tallied all that up, the number of times I've been at the Jazz Station would be measured by the hundreds. Seven years later, I'm living in the great music city of Chicago and making my living performing in all kinds of bands. If you'd like to check out more of what I've been up to, you can look at my website for some of my latest videos and recordings. Obviously, the jazz station means so much to me. It's been such a crucial part of my development as a musician. I have the jazz station to thank for making me the musician I am today. But the reach of the jazz station certainly doesn't end with me. They're continuing to provide young musicians with performance opportunities, jam sessions, accessible booking managers, volunteer opportunities, and incredible affordable jazz performances on a weekly basis. If you have the means, consider donating to the Jazz Station to help them continue to impact the lives of musicians like me. Information on how to do this will be linked in the description of this video. Thanks, Jazz Station. Now I can do this. Thank <laughs> you. 